So, on the desk, we've got my iMac, which is 27 inch, a late 2013 version. I did upgrade the RAM. We've got two of these uh, P2714H high definition monitors, um, and that's all it is. They're not 2K, 4K, or 5K, anything like that. You'll get these for around 250 each, roughly. Um, we have the Kingston headphones, uh, HyperX it's called, uh, quite good for listening to music and uh, they're good for gaming as well. <coughs> what we've got here is the Ava Media portable uh, gaming device that can record footage uh, from HDMI um, and also it can record audio separately from a 3.5mm jack. So you can input uh, basically any sort of audio source from your sound card into that and it should be fine for recording. If you're wondering about this particular device, check out my video review in that. Uh, I'll put the information in the actual description so you can have a look at that. But um, it's a really good device and I think it's better than the uh, Elgato to be honest. Here's a quite a handy device I picked up uh, from Amazon. It's basically a card reader with some USB ports. I'll put um, more info in the description box for you. But um, basically you can put um, compact flash, um, SD and micro SD and you've got three USB slots there. Um, I think it's USB 2 rather than 3. But um, it fits, you know, it looks quite nice. We also have the Apple DVD drive here. Um, I watch the occasional film on it. Um, unfortunately, if you want Blu-ray, you'll have to buy one of the specialist Blu-ray players. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, <coughs> <coughs> We've obviously got the Hens dock here, which is quite nice for having your Apple uh, Bluetooth keyboard here and the touchpad. Um, keeps it together and it's as if it's just one keyboard and it's quite nice. Here we have the famous and popular Yeti microphone. It's fantastic quality. The only thing I would say is it does pick up vibrations if you've got your hard drive on and you will get a slight hum in your actual video if you're recording. So I would recommend putting something underneath it to or turn off your external hard drive which is what I tend to do when I'm doing recordings and then I turn it back on when I need it basically. In terms of the sound system we've got these um, creative uh, Gigabyte I think the T40 ones um, and they're really good for sound. Uh, I've done a review on these speakers a long time ago but you do get a lot of sound from them. What I actually do is I have it connected to um, quite an old um, Edifier subwoofer. Um, it, the subwoofer came with some cheap speakers but I don't use them. And what I tend to do is I connect this up to it and it gives me good sound. Um, while we're here, let's turn it on and you can get an idea what it sounds like. So let's turn it on for you guys. Okay, that's, a, that's enough of the music being played. Um, right, so we've talked about the Yeti, um, quite a good microphone. Um, you can use the internal one on your iMac, but the quality isn't that good. 
and, and then I actually made, which I'll just disconnect this, um, I've got a local firm on, on eBay to make this for me, which is basically a piece of plastic perspex with some rubber feet on it and if you can see on the back obviously there's three different types here but I, th I think basically we've got two simil similar and a bigger one here so what we can do is we can plug in our um, iPhone, our iPod and maybe have an iPod Nano um, charging at the same time um, I've just got some cheap charging cables for that. Uh, it is quite handy if you can't find your cable and you just want to charge your phone up, pop it in there and it works fine. What you can't see on the back is I have a Seagate 2GB external hard drive. I use that as my go-to hard drive for saving any sort of footage that I need to save. Um, here we have just uh, a basic keyboard um, that I purchased. It's one of those cheap Chinese ones, nothing special about it. Uh, it's not one of the expensive mechanical ones. Uh, it can change colour um, and that's why I liked it. Um, and that's obviously what's on the desk. Uh, the only thing you might not be able to see in the video is I do have a desktop computer which is an AMD Optical processor. I sometimes have that connected to my monitor for um, re you know playing games, doing recordings, that sort of thing. Um, I tend to use my iMac for doing um, basically any sort of video editing work or any sort of photo editing work. And then when I want to record any game footage and upload maybe a bit of gameplay, I'll put my PC on and that's what I tend to do. So this is a brief overview of my desk setup as it is at the moment. I just wanted to show you the advantages of having three monitors. Um, the other problem is sometimes there is a bit of uh, difficulty with resolutions because I'll just show you an example here again. Move this across. Uh, it's a lot smaller. Uh, move it back to the big monitor and it's a lot bigger because the resolutions are not the same. Um, the other thing I would say is have, with having three 27 inch monitors is you, you lose. What I would say is if you've got three 27 inch monitors is you lose a lot of desk working space. Um, so you might find that your desk is cluttered up with all your monitors, your, your keyboards, uh, your devices, your your, your speakers, your subwoofers, and you might not have a lot of room here um, for moving things around. If you're interested what these devices are underneath the actual monitor, it's the AC11 um, speaker bar that Dell has made specifically for this particular machine. Um, it does give good sound, easy to mount, easy to take off, um, I just wanted to do a video. I just wanted to do a video and show you what my desk comprises of, um, because I'm looking at possibly downgrading this so that I've got two monitors at similar resolution, such as 2560 by 1440, um, and then what I'm looking at doing is possibly just reconfiguring my desk a little bit. So that I've got two monitors running at 2560 by 1440 instead of standard definition. Um, this is just to make my workflow easier. Um, as I said, I'll just show you again. If we take that and move it across onto the monitor here, um, you can see that it gets a lot bigger because the resolution is, is smaller. And it's not a big issue. In terms of if you want to watch a YouTube video, you know, have that out. Let's put that YouTube full screen there. Uh, you've got, you know, you've got YouTube playing there, um, and you can watch that in full screen. 
uh, while you're doing stuff on here. But the only problem is, I've noticed that if you've got Photoshop open here, and you want it to stay the same proportions, um, or you're using Final Cut Pro for video editing, and you just want to move it across and have nothing change, it gets bigger and you can't always reach the corners and you might have to resize it maybe do do that um, you can't really do it like that you have to sort of shrink it down on that screen and bring it across um, so that you can control it a bit more that's the only problems you've got when you've got screens at different resolutions so my advice would be if you do want to have a big screen set up like this make sure all your monitors are the same resolution um, and that will probably be beneficial for you in terms of pixelization do you see the pixels on these uh, standard definition monitors running at uh, 180 by 1920 um, if you look close you can see pixelization on the screen um, I can't tell that on the iMac because the iMac screen is just class and high quality um, you know it makes all the difference so that's my recommendation if you want to have a good experience with your monitors make sure they're all the same resolution um, and thank you